this video I bring you a very short description on CB and CV. This is specific heat capacity at constant pressure and the same but at constant volume. We're going to make, let's suppose, a student, a guy or a girl. Or let's say it's a team of a guy and a girl. Are going to calculate the CP and CV of substance X. You don't know the substance. They're going to analyze 1.53 grams. And they are going to do three tests. First test, test is from 20 to 40 Celsius. Second test is 60 to 80 Celsius. And third test is 120 to 300 Celsius. So as you can see, the change in temperature here is 20. The change in temperature here is 20. And the change on temperature here is 180. Now, they record the amount of heat added at constant pressure. And they record the heat added at constant volume. As you can see here, this one is lower than the left one. Now, they tell you, please calculate the CP and CV of the substance. How do we get that? Well, Q equals M CP delta T at constant pressure. And Q equals M C V delta T at constant volume. So just be sure to use the adequate formula and you will be right. So what okay, we have here, okay, CP comes from here. We must divide by mass, which is one point, how much was it? One point fifty-three grams. You will need to change that to kilograms. Then the delta C is 20 Celsius. And the heat goes here. So you do this, you plug this, you have the heat added, which is QP here. You have the mass, which is 1.53. You need to change it to kilograms. And the difference on temperature goes here. So you do this for constant pressure. And then you need to do the same as well for constant volume. Here, here, and here. Just be sure that the only thing that changes is this quantity because the substance sample is the same and the heat, well, it does change, but the changes in temperature are the same. Then, they tell you please make conclusions. So first thing first, CP here is a little bit higher than the CV here, always. Mm, what else? Essentially that. That that's the first thing that pops into my mind. So uh, from the last one, it I will tell you that definitely this is not, or this will be not logic to use CP and CV as a constant. Okay, not valid. And as the temperature increases, both CP and CV increases. That's also awesome. It's not because they have delta of Celsius different. Actually, these are 20 Celsius and these are 20 Celsius difference. Even though it's the same difference, because they are at higher temperatures, they have different specific heat capacities. That's awesome as well. So just learn that. I would say rule number one, CP and CV is not the same in gases. And rule number two, as temperature increases, in general, CP and CV also increases. Uh, other conclusions to improve the laboratory experiment will be to, instead of using intervals of 20 Celsius or 180 Celsius, why not use 1 Celsius? Of course, you will have a lot of ranges from 20 to 21, 21 to 22, and so on. You will need to make a lot of ex experiments but I think it will make worth it for you to get to know the difference on Q, CP, CV, and so on. And once again, CV is always less than CP. Why? Well, there are many definitions. If you're really curious about it, I'm going to post a video in the next lesson. But if you want to jump it, it's totally fine for me because it's not that important that you get that on the CV and CP.